So the hot take is here. It's the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 slash DMZ event. And it's just a little bit weird on the multiplayer side of things. So I initially recorded a video where I was gonna do like haunting multiplayer gameplay, but to be honest, it really isn't too much other than some new changes to a couple of old maps pretty much. And that's about it, I guess. I do know that decoy grenades now make their own like crazy little weird sound effect with like screaming and growling and a bunch of other cool stuff, I guess. But other than that, I mean, that's really kind of it there really isn't anything crazy to multiplayer right now so we're over here in the haunting playlist and it looks like we're gonna get ella silo before our next haunting map like i said i've already played on this map before so i'm gonna just basically show you guys kind of what changes they made to these maps for this halloween event a majority of the changes are literally over in warzone and in dmz where you've got all the crazy like boss fights and stuff kind of going down but that's really just about it you've also got like zombie affected too which i do plan on making a video on for later this week uh but outside of that i mean I mean, nothing too crazy is actually happening on the multiplayer side of things. I've also noticed one thing with this game, man, when it comes to looking at these custom loadouts, these things are extremely bug. Like sometimes you can see the attachments on the gun, sometimes parts of the gun are a little bit orange, sometimes they literally are not. And I, they just, I don't know, man. They, they, it's, it's been broken since the game launched. We just got some cool, like, uh, day of the dead stuff i think that's what this is in celebration of but it's got this really really nice like mexico holiday kind of theme to it and by every single shot i mean the one shot that i fired at the guy yeah it's just got this nice little like mexican or slash day of the dead like holiday kind of theme to it and honestly the map design is actually really really cool if they kept it like this i really wouldn't mind it honestly like i don't see a point what are you doing man you just hanging out there buddy you just chilling getting your long shots done he got his kill Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to do a tour of the map. Thank you. More like he'll confirm and grind the little icons and stuff for like the dog tags are also like a uh, day of the dead themed, which is really, really cool. They've got these giant animals up here and anybody from Mexico can tell me what these animals are supposed to represent. Please let me know. I, I first guess like Chupacabra maybe, but I don't think the Chupacabra can fly. Also got like a little skeleton over here and a guy with a little top hat and a bunch of people that don't want to have fun and let me inspect the map in peace. Please just leave me alone. I'm begging you. That's all I want to do. I don't even think you can check these modes out in like private playlists. Shit. Overall, though, there aren't really too many like crazy things to get some pinatas in here. We like Fortnite. That's a joke, by the way. Please don't get offended. I really do not miss having to press a button after playing MW3. And by the way, I really did enjoy that game. I did a full review on the game. So if you want to go check out like my honest thoughts on Modern Warfare 3, there is a video. Who, who's this guy? I did a full video with my full honest thoughts on Modern Warfare 3. I had a I had a lot of fun with the game overall. I generally do think from a core gameplay mechanic like like direction, it is genuinely better than pretty much in every way than modern warfare 2 there are a lot of similarities between the two games especially on the visual side of things but they're also a bit off the exact same platform so i'm not entirely surprised but overall i had an absolute blast in that beta and i wish i could have played it for a little bit longer if there's somebody over there i really do wish i could have played it a little bit longer but yeah that beta was an absolute blast and i just want to play more of it i'm not even gonna lie i generally don't have an like inch of energy to even try in this game anymore i don't want to sweat i don't do any of that i just want to look at these pretty cool map designs maybe snipe a tiny bit collects with souls because you need a thousand souls to get like the secret like camo skin or whatever and the worst part is with this game you have to complete it in order to even have the souls like register so you can't get your eight and then call it a day jesus man you die so fast in this game i really cannot wait for that extra health like you just blink in this game and you're dead a couple bullets boom dead snipers flinch to the sky everything else insta kill you overall the, the update for this game though has been really really cool all of the new like themes and scary vibes are really really nice their jump scares are back in warzone and boy were they scaring the absolute hell out of me the only weird thing they did with this update was not include zombie royale for some weird reason they didn't include that in the actual update and it won't be coming until later in the week like on the weekend which kind of sucks because i'm gonna be kind of busy this weekend so i won't be able to fully stream it like on time basically and i'm kind of annoyed with that like why they didn't include that with the actual update is just kind of weird i guess you don't need everything in life we hand it to you all at once but i just think it's a little strange that they didn't include it with the actual update i want to show you guys the inside of the map too but i have a feeling it's gonna be extremely sweaty so we'll see how that goes actually yeah we'll just ignore that guy for now I thought I had a drill charge. They didn't really make too many changes on the interior parts, like in this bedroom and stuff, but again, just more uh, Day of the Dead themes pretty much, which is really, really cool. I love all these designs, all these like things that I don't fully understand for this particular holiday. All right, dude, all right, dude. You die so damn quickly, man. You can't even think sometimes before you die in this game. Double bullets, you're dead. It's been kind of funny watching all the old farts get like really mad about all the new movement stuff that's coming in MW3. Now, some of it is extremely exaggerated. 
Uh, some of the like clips I've been seeing on Twitter have just been people why why spamming, staring at the ground, flinging their camera in circles. Some of them were actually just straight up cheating. I, dude, I miss reload canceling so much right now. Some people are actually pissed things like Dead Silence are back in the game, which is kind of crazy. Some people called Dead Silence back in the day apparently a gimmick perk that should have never returned. But in my personal opinion, sound whoring and just listening for people's loud ass elephant footsteps in the in Call of Duty where you're designed to run around to be arcadey, it's just not fun. That is not fun at all. It just slows the gameplay down to a crawl. I don't really have an opinion on slide canceling like that. I really don't care about it too much. That veto is gonna look right at me. Just watch. I'm not gonna be able to cross it safely. Ah! Okay, we made it. That was so scary. No, I missed. MW3 was a step in the right direction in a direction we should have never left in the first place in my personal opinion. Call of Duty has always been a fast paced arcade shooter. Ooh, I'll take all of that. Thank you, buddy. It's always been a fast paced arcade shooter. Say what you will about Sly canceling, that's neither here nor there. But most of the other elements have been a part of Call of Duty for literal ages now. I just think it's absurd with the amount of complaining people are doing about movement. Oh, God, I can't wait for Flint, uh, Flinch to just not be so insane. I really, really, really cannot wait. I really don't know how to feel about like, the whole movement argument and stuff. I mostly just care about good, fast ADS speeds, no jump penalties, like the basic things that were never issued with Call of Duty from the jump. Slide cancel is kind of whatever, because it's still new in my opinion. We had it sort of in like Jetpack COD. I still think Jetpack Call of Duty had the best movement out of any Call of Duty. But I mean, like everybody who wants the game just to be this weird tactical shooter, they've got to be like relatively new to the Call of Duty era. The MW19 was their first Call Duty think that all of the things they're adding back in MW3 is something new. Like it's not. All these stuff we're getting in MW3, the perks that are returning, the way the game actually flows and feels, that is nothing new. So I can't think it's still a new thing. It hasn't even been around for more than what, four or five years now? But everything else, fast ADS, the fast running speeds, fast like usage of your equipment, your guns, etc. All of that is literally Call of Duty staple stuff. Like it's normal shit. All right, we got flowers up here. I've had enough of this map for one evening. This map has a sick aesthetic now. Like of all the maps they made changes to being two of them, this one by far has the best like horror aesthetic to it. It feels like we're generally under attack by some kind of supernatural force. Like everything's all, this is a lot of blood actually. Oh my, oh my God. Am I gonna have to censor this? This is, this is a lot of blood. <laughs> like Call of Duty does not miss when it comes to their Halloween theme, like, like, like events and stuff, especially when it comes to like Warzone multiplayer kind of always lacks in a lot of different areas. Unfortunately, that's just the, like the way the world works nowadays with Call of Duty multiplayer, which is why I'm so excited. I just heard a random scream and it scared the shit out of me. That was so terrifying. Wow. Also, apparently they nerfed the super shotgun in Warzone. Like I knew that was going to happen, especially with the Lockwood build. I knew that shit was going to happen, man. They sell you this really, really cool bundle and then they nerf it a couple of weeks later. Like that was going to happen. They make it stupid broken. Like they know it's going to be broken. And then they, uh, well, what did they do? They, uh, nerf it. All right, teammate, you gotta shoot him, right? He still didn't get him. Cool aesthetics overall. Everything's like horror themed. You got all these like bloody walls and stuff full of zombie blood. Zombies are actually in some of the buildings too. Like they're dead zombies, but they're in the buildings nonetheless. Some of them are like stuck in between doors and shit. It's just weird and creepy. I didn't even notice that this, okay, buddy. Damn, I just want to look at the top part of the map. I'm not even actively trying to chase after kills and I have the best shotgun in the game at my end. You got more zombies over here and a dead cowboy or whatever. This elevator that's full of zombies. Zombies. <laughs> it's oh man, you, you you've seen better days, huh, buddy? Imagine if the zombies could grab you if you got close enough. Like that's another cool idea they could arguably implement if they wanted to. Make it so when you get close to the zombies on this map, they uh they jump scare you. I don't know, like I had a chopper gunner, that's how out of touch I am with what's happening in this game at this point. I also just kind of don't care anymore. This game's about to be done for, and I can't wait. I'm so excited to play MW3. Wait, it's so quiet in here, dude. This would make a sick zombies map, though, I think. Kind of reminds me of the White House from uh, Black Ops. What was it? Black Ops 1? Or was it the Pentagon? I don't really remember. It might have been the Pentagon. Okay, literally, where are any of these people? I've circled this map, at least in this building anyway, several times now to no success. That veto shot me immediately. I'm going to play like a rat. I'm playing just like how they wanted me to. Halo season five, Halo Infinite season five actually looks freaking amazing, dude. We got the new firefight, like with the Forge AI and stuff. You have King of the Hill with AI now, which is really, really cool. New like weapon variants and stuff are out now for the new, what was it? The, uh, the, the bandit, the bandit evil is a thing now. Some new flood decals and stuff, but you got to pay for a good portion of that stuff. Most of it's in the battle pass or something like that. I played a little bit of the new maps to the new 4v4 maps that they got. And they're actually so damn good. It's not even funny, man. I really, really enjoy the way that game plays right now. It's so weird transitioning from playing MW3 with all the crazy fun movement to playing this game again, with this slow ass sliding, no slide canceling, none of that shit. Not even just basic fast running speeds. Like the slide canceling is whatever, but man, this game just, it's slow. 
This is like my third kill of the game. All right, well, this is boring. The haunting is lit if you're playing DMZ or Warzone for multiplayer. It's kind of mid. We'll do zombie infected in another video, but uh, I've had enough of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer for one day. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. And if you're not new here, or if you are new here, like the damn video and share it with your friends. I'll see you later. Peace.